Chris with HobbyKing.com coming at you with another great daily. All right, crash and burn. This one's for you. You keep asking for a 250 FPV quad. Well, here we go. We have it today. Now, uh, this particular frame is all one piece, uh, and it's 250 uh, millimeter uh, wheelbase on it. Uh, the cool thing about it is pretty much indestructible. A lot of the, the smaller quads out there are PCB based or uh, really light in their construction. Now, this thing is pretty light for its size, but like I said, it's almost indestructible. You can run this thing into a tree not even worry about breaking it, maybe just a couple props or something like that. Um, with it uh, being all one piece, it does have a pretty hefty uh, bay area right in here for your flight controller, so it can take a KK board, it can take a, a multi wii it can take the mini multi wii pretty much anything in there. Now it is designed as an FPV quad, but it can be used pretty much for just sport flying as well within the 250 millimeter uh, wheelbase size. But you'll notice a couple things, right here on the front and right on the back. These little pads, if we kind of zoom in here, right here, these structures are designed to hold the FPV transmitter, and on the front, this is actually designed for a 9-gram servo. Drops down, and uh, you pretty much can put a little uh, pan and tilt on the front of this. Now, let me show you a couple of the accessories that come with it. It comes on the top, uh, a little uh, hoodie that pops on. You can put it in this orientation or this orientation that allows you to protect your flight controller, as well as landing gear that, uh, after you're done assembling, you just simply plug into the bottom and it just locks in right in there. Frame is pretty uh, pretty light. Uh, it comes in right at about 100 grams for the entire frame with full setup on it. Um, like I said, 250 uh, millimeter wheelbase. And those that are familiar in the FPV community, FPV racing and multi-rotors are kind of becoming a big thing. A lot of uh, people are putting on FPV multi-rotor racing, and we thought this is an absolutely perfect frame for that. So what we're doing is actually putting together a spec class racer based around this frame. And actually I've got a couple build, I'll just go ahead and give you a preview on that, that's coming in a few weeks, but you can pick up the frames right now. Like I said, they're indestructible, they're cheap, um, it's a great 250 millimeter frame, but uh, let me go ahead and lift up one I've got set up right here. This is actually our spec class racer. Now, a couple things on this setup that you're gonna want to uh, to work, whether you're just using it for standard, floor, uh, standard sport flying, or if you're actually going to uh, actually try and, and use it as a racer quad. Motor I'm not gonna recommend on it. Now, the uh, this will accept anything from a 15 millimeter motor all the way up to a 2208 uh, as far as the motor. Best motor that I've found in testing on this is our 1704 Multistar with the three blade uh, five inch propeller. This thing, uh, this particular motor puts out about 163 grams of thrust on a three cells per motor. And that's almost a two to one weight, uh, two to one power on this uh, on this little quad. Now on the front, like I was saying, it has a, a little uh, pan and tilt. On this one, since I was using it for racing and in testing, we only have the tilt on it. And you don't want full tilt on this where it's completely level because you lose the sense of climbing up and down. So I just let this when it's at full bank angle, instead of looking at the ground, I let this uh, just pitch up a little bit so I can still get a sense of the ground but still realize that I'm dropping on there. And that's linked to the uh, the multi we I have in this. I have the multi we Mini in here so it's got full barrel and compass on it and you'll also notice a Bluetooth module so I've got full telemetry on this one as well so when I'm racing I can go back and take a uh, take a look at some of my specs or my PIDs or whatever I need so it's got the, the multi Wii on this one on the back right on the back I've got the uh, the AV transmitter on the back for the video itself so this is a great little quad um, I'm flying this one on a thousand milliamp um, uh, three cell and I get about seven minutes uh, with full FPV gear and all up weight on this one. It flies absolutely fantastic. But on the uh, the website, when we release the uh, the spec, we'll have all these uh, components that we've figured out which, which is best for this particular frame. But bottom line, if you're wanting a great little small FPV frame just to zip around the house or zip around in your yard or just do a little you know sport flying with, this is it. Uh, there's a lot of uh, like the QAV250. Uh, it's a great you know frame but for the money this thing is so cheap and inexpensive you cannot beat it for the price and like I said it's indestructible these props are a diamond dozen so if you hit a tree just put a new prop on it and you're up and flying again alright guys make sure you go to hobbykingracing.com we're gonna have some information coming to you as far as the spec class is concerned up on that website that's hobbykingracing.com and look under multi rotor racing as always subscribe to our YouTube channel definitely check for this on the new items page and as always subscribe to our YouTube channel we will see you next time.